All right, so right now we're sitting next to the first black woman to ever be appointed the director of office management and budget. Shalonda Young, big round of applause. Whoa! <laughs> Such a big title. It's, it's, it's a little bit. Yeah, well, you, you, you're in charge of a $6 trillion budget? Uh, that is what your budget, your taxpayer, I work for you. You work for me. I work for you. Okay, so and I, you need, and you. Yeah. I need a small business loan. <laughs> <laughs> is that possible? I got a whole office okay. down Pennsylvania Avenue, a whole agency. Okay. I'm going to call somebody and make sure that you know all that's available to you. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, congratulations. You made history, you know, and uh, a lot of times people end up in these positions, but we don't know exactly how they got there. Can you tell our audience, how did you arrive here? Uh, one, I hope you all agree with this, but maybe not. My ethos in life, not by myself. Okay. Um, on the backs of lots of, lots of family members um, who wished me and prayed me here. Mm -hmm. uh, and by some good, dumb luck. You come out of college, you're looking for yourself. Um, and a lot of people saw something in me and recommended me for things and ended up uh, working in federal budget and then kept my ear to the ground. Who, who, who is carrying the weight in this town? Yeah. Um, and when I was young, this committee kept coming up, the Appropriations Committee, the Appropriations Committee. Now, I've taken civics class. Mm -hmm. I don't remember that. <laughs> <laughs> um, but they would call, and people would stop what they were doing. I was like, i got to go work for them. So I got a chance to go work for the Appropriations Committee and rose to be the staff director of the Appropriations Committee. Guess what? They control how many of our kids get to go to Head Start. Uh, they control how many funds our, our health centers get, which many of our communities rely on. They control $1.7 trillion uh, of this economy. And I got to work for them and grew to lead the staff of it. And that's how I got to know like the federal budget process and how the president uh, found me and brought me over to serve him. And uh, I get to, as you say, manage uh, $6 trillion between all our entitlement programs, Medicare, Social Security, and all the things uh, we think about uh, with regard to our social safety net in this country. I wow. get to do that. You get to do that. And here you are sitting here from Louisiana, Baton Rouge. Smaller than Baton Rouge. I grew up in a little town outside of Baton Rouge. If I told you the name, you'd have to maybe look it up, and it <laughs> might be on Google. Okay. And move to Baton Rouge for high school. Wow. Wow. That's incredible, Heather. Yeah, that's what I want to talk about, because you were talking about being prayed here, and folks that pray for you. And any time I hear that, I personally think of my grandmother. And you were sharing some things about your grandmother and her roots. Do you mind sharing it again about her playing basketball and, and, and her doing that? Amazing. The first... So I'm going to call her after this to make sure she listens <laughs> okay. uh, in the morning because she has lots of opinions about what I say when I talk about her. But she's 94 and a half yes. uh, years young. It's still in Clinton, Louisiana. Um, and I didn't have to look far from home. People talk about mentors. I have a grandmother mm. um, who worked when women didn't work, who went to college when women didn't go to college. I don't know how my great grandparents knew to, to push her towards that. Uh, my mother um, also played college basketball. I played middle school basketball until my grandmother told me to quit. She says, not that you're not good. <laughs> <laughs> but you, you should awesome. find something else. Yeah. Yes, yeah, baby. find something else. So I also yeah. was not coddled as, right. a, as a child. So I came from like a whole, whole host and long of, of strong women. And look, I'll share with you too, I have a 15 month old. So that, that's the, the hard part of today. I, I have a 15 month old in addition to doing this job. So I have a, a lot behind me pushing me, but also have her looking at me, uh, which is what is a big driver for me. And also to example what I'm doing this for and what we're all doing this for. Thank you. So I want to say our audience is prime for civics and civics class. So I love how you kind of leaned into that. We're throwing out big terms right now, $6 trillion. You talked about the office down the street, which I'm assuming you talk about the United States Small Business Administration. Mm -hmm. So if you can do a quick civics class for our audience and break down how does that $6 trillion, what type of agencies does it go to? Can yep. you talk about the agencies? And then talk about how do you prioritize the allocation of which agencies gets which amount of funding? First of all, civics and American history were my favorite class, and I did not know that would leave me here. <laughs> I got to teach the class. If you were good in the class, the teacher could pick you to teach for a day. So that was my, that was my class. Um, and people should know that one of the things we're trying to do for my office, we don't just do the budget. We do the management piece. So we, we tell people we would like to use this $700 billion in purchasing power 
you as a government, this is what we should be focused on. So there's a lot more than presenting the budget. It's how you uh, turn the federal uh, bureaucracy, the, the agencies, uh, into something that Joe Biden ran on, what he told people to do. And therefore, you need an agency like this one to put out instructions, guidance, and say, we expect you to do this this way. And that's what we do from this office. Uh, a lot of the $6 trillion are what we call entitlements. So people know them as Social Security, Medicare, Medicaid, uh, children's health insurance. Those are the biggest parts of our federal budget. Um, but there are also things like Head Start, child care block grants, mm -hmm. uh, health care centers, HBCUs, um, Pell Grants. A lot of that is in, uh, in our federal budget as well. So uh, the biggest dollars, though, are in those entitlement programs that, uh, you know, you get when you're a bit older than all of us are. <laughs> Uh, Shalanda, I want to ask you, when, when you get hired into a position like this, like when I got hired or we get hired on SiriusXM, it's a different process than I would imagine getting hired to work for the president. Did he call you directly the day you got hired? How did you find out? So it, it is a process. Uh -huh. um, and you do talk to him, and I'm sure it goes differently with everyone. Um, and you're then asked to serve. Uh, and then you have to do a little process called the Senate confirmation process. So you tell everybody all of your business, okay. <laughs> your, your financial business, your personal business, your neighbors call you and say the FBI just dropped by and uh, asked about you. Uh, so you should know your public servants are well vetted. <laughs> uh, and so it is a, is a long, tedious process. And that's why you hear the president when you serve him thank families. Um, because your families do uh, go through a lot to get you here, and really you need the support of them um, because it's a lot, and you have to do a lot. I went in front of two Senate committees, uh, testified about why I thought I was qualified, um, and got bipartisan support out of the Senate to, to be confirmed into this job. Okay. Uh, Shalanda, I want to thank you for being on the show. It's great to sit next to someone who works so great with money. Uh, so my last question is, is if you had to put your bet on which NBA basketball team is the greatest of this era? Who would you place your bets on? So I told you I was from Louisiana, so I have to shout out to the Pelicans. That wouldn't However, be however, <laughs> I, said we want to I make must money. congratulate our, our Oakland friends, our yeah. California friends, the, the Warriors in the house, in the White House today. Yes. Uh, it's nice to have them. Um, you know, we're, we're all fans. And one, you have like nice people. The Currys are mm -hmm. uh, just, just good people. And it's nice to have them back on campus and feel some normalcy back uh, after being uh, living with COVID. We are finally it's starting to get some of those rhythms back. So congratulations to you and the Thank rest you. of uh, Northern California, uh, including the VP, I'm sure, mm -hmm. has on some warrior, warrior colors today. So she does. Uh, she notice does. I did not answer the question, but yeah. congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> Shalanda, well, thank you, and thank you for your thank service you so to much. this country. Yes. Thank, you, thank so you so much. Absolutely. <laughs>